Hello everybody! So today's video is going to be all about Sawyer. He is being sent to an endocrinologist. I think I'm saying that right. Um, Sawyer is not growing. Um, I think last year he grew almost two inches, but I know it sounds like okay, but he is very, very short for his age. Like, they people say he looks like a three-year-old and he's five and a half. Um, he's been in the same size clothes for almost two years now. Um, he's tiny, tiny man. <laughs> um, I think Griffin is like three inches taller than him. Is he three inches? I think so, right? I don't think he's that much taller than him. Really? He's pretty short too. Yes. Griffin's pretty short too? Yeah. Well, he's he's definitely at least two inches taller, I think. Well, he definitely weighs more than Sawyer. Weighs way more, yeah. So, like, who knows? I don't know measurements. We'll probably get measurements today. I know Griffin weighs 48 pounds right now, almost 50. And I think Sawyer is, like, 33 or 34 pounds without shoes. So, big difference in weight, which is fine. We're just going here to do a double check. And if you don't know what endocrinologist is... They do hormones, they do glands, they do fibroid stuff. So they're probably gonna do labs, I'm not sure today, probably today, and they're just gonna check everything and make sure that his body is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, Cause he's very, very small for his age. It's just hard because our oldest son is very, very tall for his age. Um, me and my husband, I, my husband's 5'9", I'm 5'3". You're 5'10"? Never mind. <laughs> He's 5'10. I'm, as, as my husband says, 5'3. I think I'm 5'2 and a half, but whatever. We're my not. <laughs> my husband's You're 5'3. I don't know. I think I'm shrinking. Um, so uh, we're not extremely tall people, but our, our older children are very tall for their age. Wynn is tall for her age. Harrison is tall for her age. Posey is a little above average. Um, so yeah, we're just doing this to double check that everything is all right with Sawyer's body and he's producing everything he needs to grow and be a healthy human being. So we're gonna see how this goes. I've never done this before. I have no idea what to expect. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up Sawyer from school and we're gonna go. All right, we got Sawyer from school. We got a tablet because I don't know how long this appointment's gonna be. He's doing really good and we're here. We're going in. All right, we're in the elevator, jump. Boop. Good job. So we just got checked out by the nurse. We're waiting for the doctor right now. Sawyer's on his tablet. Hey. He's been doing really good listening. I'm very proud of him. Okay, so we just finished with another nurse that did all the family history stuff. Got charts. Can't really read them. I'll explain more later. I'm not good at this stuff. He seems like he's low in all the percentiles. <laughs> so I don't know what they're gonna say. Um, again, this is for double checking. Nothing else is going on with my family. Um, you all know, we got a lot of kids with issues, a lot of genetic things going on, and he's short. So I wanna make sure that his hormones are good and this is what the doctors say. They might say, you crazy lady, get out of here. Um, and that's fine. I'd be like, yes, one less doctor. So let's hope for that, but who knows? We'll see what they say. Well, <laughs> I have a lot to catch you guys up on. I uh, could not film the rest because there was just so much happening. So he ended up getting blood work and an x-ray done. Doctor had a lot to say about Sawyer. Um, I'm gonna wait till I get home because I gotta pick up dinner for the kids and Sawyer's, we've been here for hours. So, um, but lots of information. So next clip, you'll see me explaining what's going on. I ran upstairs really quick. We have therapy downstairs. So I wanted to explain what the doctor said. All is very fascinating. Endocrinology stuff is so cool to me. Like, my next life, maybe I'll be an endocrinologist. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so fascinating. So, um, well first we did blood work, got the x-ray done. Um, but he said, he talked about all sorts of things about what could be causing his short stature. Um, he said, you know, it could be his thyroid, it could be lack of iron, it could be hormone imbalance. Um, they, on his growth chart, he is, you know, super short on the growth chart. His weight chart is, He's small, but not small enough where it's a problem. So like if he was like five pounds less than he is now, then they would consider that like a major problem. Like we need to um, find a solution because he's super thin and super short, like something's really wrong. But because of where his weight is, um, I think it, I don't remember, it's 30 something pounds. Um, they do it in those weird numbers, so I don't really know what they are. Cause I'm, I'm dyslexic and don't understand anything with numbers or letters. Yeah, so he, 
Uh, his weight was okay for where he where he is. Uh, so he is short, but it's just he's just on the lower percentile. They did, they did a family grid, which they showed like where like what they do is they I forgot what it is, but they like double the height or something. Like they put the mom's height and the father's height, and then they add two inches. Again, I'm not sure exactly how this works, and they came up with he should be between five nine and six foot or something. Um, that's where he should end up as an adult. Right now, it's, you know, he's t trending towards like five, four, um, um, if things don't change. So the x-ray, what why we had to do the x-ray, we did an x-ray of his left hand, and that was, it was just fascinating. He said, you can tell when you look at the bones, when, um, I don't even understand exactly how this worked, but you can tell how the growth pattern is if your child is not growing in the normal um, time frame. So if he could tell if, if Sawyer's bones are like a four year old's bones, that's what I don't understand, um, or if he's at a five year old growth scale, which again, I don't even know how they do that, but it sounds so cool, right? So if his bones are like a four-year-old or a three-year-old or whatever, that's how he described it, it would mean that he's just growing slower. And that means he will catch up. If his bone growth is like a five-year-old, it means there might not be a growth spurt in his near future. Um, so that was very fascinating, I thought. Uh, in a week and a half, we should get an update with all the blood results, the thyroid check, the, the iron, the hormone stuff, everything to check and see if there's anything wrong. What was really cool about this doctor, he, he came up, he talked to me and he goes, okay, I just want to know that this, what this is for. Why are you here? Like, why um, are you doing this? And like, for me, I, I said, I need to know if he's okay, he's healthy. Um, I need to make sure that nothing else is wrong. We have a lot of medical issues in our family, a lot of genetic stuff. I need to make sure that we're not missing something that when he's, you know, 15 years old and he has a huge, I don't even know, hormone imbalance, thyroid issue, lack of iron or something that we missed. And that's why he's not growing. I will feel really bad, like really bad. So I want to make sure he's okay. He said good. He said he was really concerned when he gets these kinds of appointments um, for, for growth that it's a parent that wants their child to be normal, average, the height of a typical child, human, whatever, for, you know, teasing, bullying, all the things. And I said, I don't think Sawyer's going to care how tall he is. He, he's just not that kind of kid. I mean, of course, I would love him to be uh, typical but I don't, it's not going to change Sawyer's direction in life, you know, and I, if he's going to be 5'4", he's going to be 5'4", he's going to be 5'5", five five, whatever height he's going to be, it's going to be okay. Um, yeah, so I just, it's, was fascinating, the whole thing. Now, there's one more thing that kind of blew my mind, um, uh, that I didn't, I had no idea that this was going to be brought up because I was just like, we're going to do blood work, we're going to talk about, you know, hormones and stuff. He said, well, I was looking at his chart yesterday and I was like, okay, I saw you did a genetic panel. And like, the, we've done this genetic panel like a long time ago, guys. Like, and I know you all have been waiting. We've been waiting. I know the results have come in, but we've had not had a neurology appointment because um, that's neurology did this, uh, the genetics, until we have it at the end of the month to go over his genetic results because I don't have a doctor to explain this to me. Um, so we've had the results for a while now, but we haven't been able to figure it out. I did Google some stuff, but it didn't make any sense to me. So I just let it go and said, I'm going to wait till the doctors tell me. So he said, I saw his genetic panel and his one, he has an abnormality, which don't lie. I don't know what it's called. Maybe if I can link it, I might put it on the screen right here. We'll see if my husband can find it. I might just wait till we do the neurology appointment. When I get the whole picture, then I might talk about what the abnormality is. He did say there is a study that goes along with this genetic abnormality that comes with short stature. He did say it was like a very, very small study, um, but it, what, the fact that it was in there could mean that this is a genetic thing and that there's really nothing we can do, it's just genetics. Um, which I was like, okay, that's fascinating. Um, but just was like, wow, like our genetics is a crazy hot mess. Like. I don't know. 
it's insane. I don't even know how to feel about it. Like, I wouldn't change my children. I just can't believe that me and Will's combination of our genes could cause havoc like this. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how it works, but I guess so. Um, it's just, yeah, if that's what it is. We don't know. But he said if everything is eliminated, it's most likely a genetic thing. If the hand growth is typical, like of a five-year-old, if all the panels come back normal, it's probably genetically he is going to be a small human being. And um, we did talk about like the hormone replacement therapies or whatever, and the government, uh, like this Medicaid or whatever, does not cover this anymore unless you have a disease. I forget what he said. But it was like kind of like I'm not angel syndrome, but there's other diseases that that you are really small and those hormones can help those those types of diseases. Sawyer would not have that. So, um, and he said that it would only give him, uh, what is it, a half centimeter a year if he started it. So it doesn't, in the, in the, in the long term things, it really wouldn't give him that much growth with the side effects and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> a lot of information thrown at me and I'm just kind of blown away I'm now very I'm looking forward to neurology in a few weeks to see what they say and um, explain it more layman's term to me because I did not expect that one at all like I was like when he brought up genetics I was like haha what what um, but again like it all makes sense <laughs> I mean wins genetic abnormality with we, we don't know about her genetics but they say CRMO is a genetic thing. Angelman syndrome, I don't know about apraxia, but I, I, it's prop, most likely. It's most likely. Um, and then, you know, now this, which was, yeah. So this is just fascinating. Um, yeah, so I will update you guys when we get the results with um, the endocrinologist and see what they say. We should get, an, I said, a my chart email in a week and a half and we'll find out. So, yeah, I think we're going to end the vlog here. This was just, I wanted to dedicate this for other people um, that are doing an endocrinology and who have maybe have autism or maybe have this rare genetic thing that I don't know what this is. Because um, I just think it's important to educate. This is very important to me. So, yeah. We will let you go. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, guys, you are wonderful. Bye.